Now there was a question on the on the video that I made for uh, REST API, and uh, in that video I made uh, I, I talked about change history. Now change history in uh, Jira for an issue is uh, amazing. You can actually fetch any change that was done on the issue. It could be transition, it could be change in any field, or it could be maybe anyone who is adding, let us say, a work log. And change log is something that you can access from the UI when you're looking at the issue by going to the history. But of course, you can do it using REST API. But the question was, the, the comment was about uh, how to get the information about who made the change. Now, the person who actually is making the change, maybe you wanted to, maybe you want to know for the audit or for, for some compliance or audit uh, reason. So if you look at the history here, you have the information about this uh, person who made the change. In this case, of course, it is me. And if you want to fetch it using REST API, let us try how we can do that. So if you if you open the same issue or if you basically uh, take a look at the JSON response of the issue, we have uh, REST API 3 issue, which is the endpoint and ST3, uh, no, not, not ST, ST3, ST-26. I, I don't know why I'm saying 20, like 3. So you can actually expand this response by using uh, this, I mean, by the way, if you notice here, it says here, what all you can expand, I mean, what all you can do in the expand. So what we what we need to do is uh, we also need the change history. Now, if you look here, uh, you have the change history. So for this particular issue, we have few items in the change history manager. So if you open one of them, you have the author and uh, you have uh, the information about what exactly changed so items like field and from and to so basically this is important like from what value to what value this particular field was changed to so i believe this particular entry is about uh, time block for uh, this entry of course but we can also you know take a look at the another take a look at another entry so you have the author which is important and within author if you're talking about uh, cloud you need to know the account id or maybe maybe the name for example on server it is a bit similar but uh, you don't have like like the account id on server but it is similar and uh, again you have the items like work log for example if you want to also take a look at the date so this particular change log entry was created on 10th of june or whatever whatever date you have in this particular uh, issue. So this is something that you can actually easily access. And by looking at the JSON, you can actually figure out very easily who made the change, when this change happened, the from value, and also the to, to value. For example, if you look here, this will tell you that the remaining estimates or whatever change that you're doing happened from this value to, to this value. Let us maybe uh, add a description. So. Let us see if we can. So new description save. And uh, if you expand or not expand, but if you refresh this, hopefully it will have an entry here. So yeah, this is the entry. So it says here the author, which is me in this case, uh, did something like in this case, uh, we can see here that this change was actually in the description field and uh, the, the from value was null but the to value had some uh, text item but but of course for description uh, you have to look at the to string so the information that that you need is the author name so it is possible and and i thought i'll probably talk about it because it is much, e much much easier to explain it with an example so you can also relate and that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.